All right, hopefully this video will help um, UCJV, the Maki UCJV 300. We had a media jam, and this one you have to pull the side panel off, and then also the back one, so you've got a little bit of room to work. Um, the sensor that's pretty weak on this um, unit is right here. It's black. Just a small little one, and it senses, um, I believe it senses your, uh, each of your pinch rollers. So this is held on, if you can see this piece of metal right here where the screwdriver's pointing, um, it's clipped on, it clips onto that piece of metal. Um, that This piece of metal is, is pretty weak at the one point where the clips are for that little sensor. Um, and it's held on with a screw on the other side over here, the back side of that. It's one small screw. Um, you can get access with your screwdriver through the back panel here. And if you can, if I can get my camera up in here. A little bit farther right there, if you can see that little round black spot. That's the screw for this. So I undid that, took the screw off, and then it, it can fall down in a couple different spots, down here in the bottom or hopefully back here. Um, so it took me about five minutes to find where I dropped it originally. So it's held, or it's in place there with, held by that screw, but on the back side that you can't see is a small little plug with the three little yellow wires so if you see these wires here coming up, they plug into this board around here. Plug into this board right here on this connector. What I did with that is I pulled this connector out some so I could get some slack on this wire. Um, it goes down and then it cuts back to the 90 degree bend into that sensor right there um so what i did is i pulled that down some so i could get some slack to be able to pull it back because these are real small um and you know bigger fingers on smaller items just doesn't work well sometimes now one thing i do have is some smaller uh, needle nose pliers to be able to reach into some of these areas they work good but sometimes you still need a little bit of room so I was able to get about an inch and a half of room and get my fingers back in here to be able to plug that uh, sensor back up. Then reconnected and um, we're good to go. So to be able to get this, uh, another thing here, because this will lock, that's locked there. So to be able to unlock it, to get back to work on it, there's this little, switch right here a little latch and just push on that and that releases this and you're able to pull it. Um, I guess to get access to this board here I also took this little panel here off this little cover um, and that is what uh, got me access to be able to get to this plug here. So anyways I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions just let me know. Have a good day guys.